After you click on the link below, the website will ask you to register or to log in. If you already use this tool, you can log in very easily using your username and password. But if you haven't, it is very easy to register. Just add your personal information, including your email, and then the website will give you access to the Stormboard that I created. It is very easy to visualize everything. For example, you can use the Zoom tool to make it large or to make it small. If you make it small, you can see that there are three sections. One, two, and three. The first section, it's about brainstorming in general, the strategy, the technique, a video, and some comments. The second section, it's about the activities that we can do in class with our students when we use a stormboard. And the section number three are some disadvantages that this tool have. We can start visualizing the section number one. So we just zoom and go to session number one. Uh, you just click and then you are able to see the pictures or the ideas. This is the title and it's a very easy picture. It says brainstorming. And here we have a video. If you pay attention to it, it's a YouTube video. Here you can click and you go directly. Well, we are not gonna visualize the whole video, right? Maybe you can do it later. So here on section number one, we have a sticky notes. And if we want to visualize them, we can use the same tool to make it a little bit bigger so that we can actually read them. And the first one says brainstorm means easy and fast. The students can learn to brainstorm and we can go down and we can read them all. And the same to visualize the others. You just go to session number two and start uh, reading the, all the ideas. Okay, if you want to add any idea anywhere, it is very easy. You just double click anywhere and then you can write your idea. For example, this is my idea. And you just go and you just click enter and your sticky note will be there. If you want to edit or make some changes, you just click, double click, and then it is again, you can change the color of your idea or um, you can just uh, delete it if you don't like it. Just click on the configure in button and then click delete. Also, if you want to add an idea, you can use this green plus. Just click on it and here you can write your text, you can write your idea, you can upload your image or you can use a YouTube link or anything. I hope you can add any idea that you have or just read the, the documents and read the ideas that I am providing about this topic and about this tool. Uh, this is a PDF. As you can see, you can also upload or read files. If you want to download the PDF, you can click here. It is not mandatory to download the PDF or to read it. It is um, optional reading, something to go a little bit deeper on this topic. So I hope you have enjoyed uh, this very short tutorial and I hope you can get a lot of advantage of this tool.